on, Fireman. Back to our engine. Oh, come on. I haven't finished me cocoa yet. Forget about the cocoa. We have a job to do. Oh. No, 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 no. Don't worry, Henry. It wasn't your fault. Ice and snow caused the accident. Tell you this, Henry. I'll be sending you to Crewe, a fine place for sick engines. They'll give you a new shape in a larger firebox, and soon you'll feel like a different engine. Thank you, sir. That will be... <coughs> lovely, sir. Ah, quiet back down there, you silly trucks. Can't you give me some peace and quiet? Morning to you too, Henry. Morning, Douglas. Ah, good morning, Henry. How have you? Stupid trucks. Art could put up this in such a splendid engine. I'm sure it'd be pulling trucks in the first place. Uh. What's wrong with him? Oh, you wouldn't believe it. But he caused a major accident in the yards at Napford. And so the fat controllers put him on temporary goods runs for a week. I also heard that he has to take the midnight goods for a week as well. I heard it from Oliver, who was cleaning up the mess. <laughs> oh my goodness. I now see why he's so upset. Well, at least I got to pull passengers today. Is that the new coal shipment? Hi, yes it is. One of the mainland deedles brought to Vickerstown. Then I delivered the coal. Well, that's good. I needed coal right away. I can start to feel my tender being empty. Right, I'm off now. Goodbye, Douglas. I'll see you later. Tell Donald I said hi. Don't worry, I will. See ya, Henry. Ten minutes late. I knew the big engine was slow, but God, I didn't know they were this slow. Have patience, Thomas. He'll be here soon. And he's right. Have patience. Oh, let me guess who that is. <coughs> I'm sorry, Thomas. I think I took on some bad call this morning. Oh, I don't have time for chit-chat. I'm already late as it is. 
have already gotten a new shape years ago. We shouldn't be even having these problems now. I know that, but I... Come along, Annie and Clarabelle. We have a branch line to run. That Thomas, I swear. Come on, old boy. We got work to do. Oh, right. Hello, Henry. How are you? Oh, hello, Edward. I'm doing fine. Just a little bit of a problem with some bad cold. I just got my tender filled up with some fresh cold, so I should be all good now. Oh, well, that's good. At least you don't need Welsh coal anymore to make you feel better. <laughs> Guess you're right about that. Say, Henry, with that incident with Thomas, that reminds me of the time the same thing happened when he ended up leaving his guard behind. Oh, yeah, that did happen. You know, talking about the past reminds me of some event of an engine getting stuck in the tunnel because of some rain. Oh, don't even mention that to me. Oh, I, uh, I'm, I'm sorry, Henry. Say, I was wondering about this ever since you left crew. How did you go from a failed design to a much more successful one? I mean, it's kind of unusual. You know, thinking about it fully right now, I, I actually don't know. But wait. You don't know? Well then, you must remember arriving at crew to be repaired, right? I can't say I do. Maybe my memory's a bit fuzzy today. Oh dear, I better get going. We'll have to continue chatting another time, Edward. Goodbye. Goodbye, Henry. Gordon, may I have a word with you? It better be quick, Edward. I have to get some rest for the express later today. Well... It's about Henry. What about him? Well, remember how Henry was back then, and how he was rebuilt after the Kipper accident? Edward, I already know all these things. Why are you telling me this again? Well, it has something to do with what happened today. Thomas made a remark about Henry's shape since he was late, and then he made an odd look after he left. I didn't say anything, but the look on his face when Thomas left, he almost looked rather use of what he said. Oh, please, Edward. Do you expect me to believe that? Well, Gordon, explain to me this. How do you get a GNR fail design into an LMS Stania Black 5? Well, uh, you make a good point. I questioned it myself, but when I asked him about it and his time at crew, it was like he just has no memory of it. Not to mention, I even told him about the tunnel incident. I know he wasn't actually afraid of the rain, but from the way he said it, it was like he was petrified of it. Well, all of this is strange, but it could just be a big coincidence. You never know. Well, you do make a good point there, but I'll still be wary. Right, right. Now, leave me be. An important engine like me needs his rest. <laughs> all right. I'll see you later, then. All right. Good night, Henry. We'll see you in the morning. Good night, you two. Oh, right. Time for a well-deserved rest. Oh, oh. what a strange dream. Morning, engines. It's another busy day as usual. Gordon, express duties as usual. Of course, sir. Emily, local passenger runs. Yes, sir. James, goods work. Oh, joy. Edward, some goods runs up to random. Understood, sir. And Henry, I have you on goods work as usual. However, tonight, I have an important job for you. What is it, sir? A ballast train is needed to be delivered up to Barrow before midnight. It's needed for rebalancing the rails. I'll get another engine to handle your cover runs tonight, while you're handling the important goods. So, you think you can do it, Henry? Well, all right, sir. I'll do my best. That's a good engine. Well, off to work, everyone. We have a railway to run.
Oh, hurry up. I don't want to be late. Don't get your piston rods in a twist. I'm almost done. I swear you take forever. Oh, boy, be careful. Right, you're all set to go, Henry. Took you long enough. It was a lot of work running the yard to station pilot, I'll have you know. Anyways, what's so important about this train that you need me to hurry up? It's a train of ballast that needs to go up to Barrow for some rails that need reballasting. Gotcha. Well, anyhow, I got some work to do. See you, Big Green. Bye, Rosie. James? James? James! Ah! Oh, oh, my goodness. Oh. James, what on earth are you doing here? You're going to be late. Hurry up. <laughs> Henry, you're in an accident up the line and I... Uh, accident? Uh, James, have you been smoking Welsh coal? I haven't been in an accident all night. <sighs> anyway, James, I have to get going. Good night. Right, just leave the trucks in the side and another engine will take it in the morning. All right, come on Henry, let's get you turned around for home. Bad news, while switching the points they jammed, probably due to some shoddy maintenance. So I'm afraid you have to stay here for the night until we can get them fixed. Oh goody. Well, let's just find a place in the yard for you to sleep. <sighs> All right. We'll go and find a place to sleep in the town. We'll be back home early in the morning. Good night, old boy. Well, I better go to sleep. <sighs> to get up early from home tomorrow. Alright, the engine's ready to go. there. Maybe it's another engine coming to fix the points. Yeah, yeah, that's probably it. to elaborate for you. After the Kipper accident, I was beaten up badly. However, the fat controller told me that I'd be sent off to crew to be repaired. 
A fine place for sick engines. <laughs> Once I arrived, I was placed on a siding where they looked me over to see what they could do. As they went away, I waited and waited and waited. Then one day, something happened. I watched as you puffed out of those workshops in my color and with my number. I wanted to scream and shout as I watched you puff away with that smirk on your face. But in the end, I already knew it was far too late. I was then moved to a siding out of the way, and I sat in that siding to rot away for nearly 40 damn years. I tried my hardest to prove my worth, and yet they tossed me aside like I was nothing. I'm sorry. I'm sorry that I replaced you. I'm sorry for taking everything away from you. I truly am sorry, Henry. <laughs> oh, trust me, my good engine. Once the others find out that you're not who you say you are, they'll abandon you just like they did with me. And then... <laughs> oh, you will be sorry. <laughs> <laughs> Morning. Morning. Say, where's James and Henry? Did they not return from their jobs last night? Last I heard, James was taking the midnight goods up the line. And I heard from Rosie. Henry was taking a goods train to borrow. Well, maybe they were needed elsewhere. Maybe. Hey, but that doesn't excuse what Douglas said to me. What did he say? He said he passed by James on the stretch of the main line to kill Dane. He looked odd. He couldn't have put his buffer on it, but something was off about James. He whistled hello, but got nothing. From what Douglas said, it looked like there was no feeling in his face. He didn't look sad, mad or anything, but it was late at night. So the dark must have been playing tricks on him or something like that. Well, anyways, I've got Alice run to do today. You're right. It was probably just the darkness playing tricks on him. I've got a passenger train to take anyways, so I shouldn't be worrying. I'm sure Henry and James are fine. Bye, Edward. Alright. You two be on your way, then. Something strange is going on. Something very strange, indeed.